Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren. Today I have some Twitch footage for you, which isn't great in quality, but what I'm going to be doing with said footage is to show you guys an example of what I do in order to stay relevant when playing an Outlaw Rogue. I get many questions asking me, what do I do to compete in PvP since the recent patch changes? But many people are telling me that this position of Outlaw isn't something out of reach. Many come to my channel asking me what abilities I use, what CC I throw out and when, not to find out the secret to a miserable experience, but rather to learn Outlaw since it's right on the tips of the fingers, but just out of reach. A lot of people seem to enjoy Outlaw for its difficulty, while some may say that it's still not perfect because it's reliant to RNG, which is a fair point, they do want to learn and perform better at it. So this is what this video is about. Some personal tips on what you can do in order to do better in PvP as an Alpha Rogue. These footages will go over some of the basics displayed in BGs, but you will be surprised how relevant this is in BGs more than arenas, as Outlaw translates most of these skills directly into arena play, but more directly sits on the reins of tricks of trade for the kill potential, taking yourself mostly out of the equation, with hopes that your counterpart DPS teammate will assist you in scoring the kill. So let's get to it. Since the change to Outlaw in 715, you're no longer able to spam Cloak with Shadows, Repost or Blind like you used to. The true bearing nerf made sure that you aren't as powerful as you once were. Shame. But you still want to dish out hard damage and stay relevant, so what can you do? At the core of this video, we'll cover the importance of CC, mobility, and general burst. First, let's start with CC, gouge. This part of the video, we'll be talking about gouge. I'm expecting many people here to understand the basics of rogue CC. Stuns are our bread and butter, and locking people down in a stun lock is intensely fun. But gouge is the biggest ability in outlaw rogue toolkit that we have. Let me explain. It's a CC that lasts 4 seconds, DRs with sap and generates a combo point. It's free of energy cost with Dirty Tricks talent. The spell should be spammed and should become a part of your rotation. Let's say you stone lock the hell out of a target who is still alive. But oh no, you don't have good sustained damage. Just keep the target CC'd. When you are dueling someone in a BG, use Gouge to stop them in place. This generates free combo points for your finishers. Holds in place unable to do damage to you or self heal and the CC buys you time until stun DRs are off and between the eyes is available again. The extra common points you get allow you more rolls for the bones, which is amazing when you're getting bad rolls. Gouge can also make it a nightmare for many casters as not many expect to gouge on powerful casts like Chaos Bolts and Glacial Spikes. Be sure to gouge strong casts when you kick us down. Gouge is also a great deterrent for unfair fights, so use it for combo point generation and to give yourself some breathing room for just a moment. CC is fairly easy. Gouges will help you live, generate combo points, crowd control and establish overall control of the game environment. Make gouges part of your rotation as outlaw and use it often. Mobility. Grapple and hook around all over the place. Save hook against targets that are very mobile like mages and hunters. When you get true bearing, use as many combo points as you can into finishers so then you can spam grapple and hook around all over the place. This is amazing since so you can grapple gouge targets, grapple stun for swaps and grapple away from really bad situations. If you're somebody who's been playing around with grapple hook already but only uses it for specific situations, start using it a lot more often. Plus here's a macro to make your grapple and hook easier to use, just point, press and grapple. Now for the final piece, bursting as outlaw. This is currently one of the strongest suits for outlaw, it just calls for personal player responsibilities. Try to use as many offensive cooldowns together to maximize your burst potential instead of using them separately. Here's a macro that I use. It doesn't include tricks of trade, so be sure to have it running before you burst. Being able to burst down targets fast is something Outlaw is too good at and can turn the tide of many of your PvP encounters by wiping out the enemy healer, mage or the pesky rogue who just shrinketed your blind. Also be sure to find the biggest, baddest, most OP DPS on your team and keep feeding them tricks of trade. They will inherently do more damage than you, since they're all the OP and they're dealing 15% more damage and you basically get to play the cheerleader for them. But it's definitely worth sucking some dick if it means scoring wins in BGs, killing the enemy flag carrier and being a helpful part of the team rather than a burden. Well, this is everything I have for you guys in order to do better as an outlaw rogue in PvP. Take this advice video and apply it anywhere you wish, be it battlegrounds or arenas. Outlaw currently doesn't have a complex playstyle, where there's some massive amount of depth which in my opinion is holding the spec back a little bit. But I think the recent changes are at fault as well as the fact that the spec relies on RNG so much. But the spec is something I absolutely 
love and feel passionate about. I mean, how many games get a pirate specialization done as well as Legion? Although it turned out to be a spec I fell in love with after I initially criticized the spec into dust during its first unveiling. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Outlaw Rogue PvP videos in the future and I'll see you bastards in future videos. Outlaw currently doesn't have a complex playstyle where there are some massive amounts of depth in which, in my opinion, Outlaw currently doesn't have a complex playstyle where there are some massive amounts of depth, which in my opinion is holding the spec a little bit. Outlaw currently doesn't have a complex playstyle. Outlaw currently doesn't have a complex playstyle where it. <clears throat> Outlaw currently doesn't have a comp. I lost. Outlook currently doesn't have a complex playstyle where there is some massive amount of depth, which in my opinion is holding the spec back a little bit.